What's up, guys? Listen, apparently I was late. I didn't even know that these were on Reddit. Uh, good thing uh, I check Reddit. <laughs> this time I gotta pay more attention. I gotta turn my notifications for Reddit on. Um, but the skills are apparently out. They've been translated from the French community. Uh, so shouts out to Von Avalon over there in France, I'm assuming. Much love to you. He said he translated them fast, so he might have missed something. Uh, so we're going to take this kind of tentatively um, until it drops before we get too excited. But from first glance, guys, these skills look absolutely ridiculous. But let's talk about these. Um, so when you look at these guys, you got the Thunder Emperor here. Uh, first up and foremost, um, their spell 3 has no requirement to launch, but knowledge will power it up. Okay? So, yeah. Interesting. So, Water Thunder Emperor accumulates knowledge just like anybody else, right? Uh, from what it says here, one calm mind of Fenyan equals five knowledge, which is pretty crazy. Um, can remove up to 50% of the HP on the enemy. Uh, that sounds a little crazy. Um, maybe 50% of the damage dealt, kind of similar to fire, I don't know. But again, we'll have to see once these drop. But And then it heals, uh, or 50% on the enemy and heal of the damage dealt to the whole team. So... That's what I'm thinking is 50% of the damage, I think. But, like I said, we'll have to see. This is basically a rough translation, so we'll just have to wait and see what happens here. Uh, Wind Thunder Emperor says ignores defense relative to accumulate knowledge. 20% per knowledge. So, I'm assuming it's 20% death per knowledge point. So, if you have 5, it's 100% ignore defense. So, basically, Lucian. Let me say that again. Lucian. <laughs> Okay. Uh, then the next one, resurrect when he dies, uh, 20% with 20% HP and knowledge. So Lucian and Perna had a baby. It was the Wind Thunder Emperor. Broken. Okay. Light Thunder Emperor, second passive. Each time an ally receives damage, he's healed from a part of inflicted damage up to 70% with five knowledge. Stupid. That's going to be annoying. Really annoying. Now, the question is whether or not... Um, that applies to himself. So, like, if he gets hit and he gets healed, um, then that's going to be interesting. But if it's only ally, well, that's one thing. So, we'll have to wait and see, kind of, you know, when somebody tests that. Oh, and guys, if you pull these units, please let me know so I can do videos on them individually like we did the druids and stuff. Uh, so, let me know. You know what I'm saying? Showcase your account. We'll feature you. And then we'll go ahead and, you know, get these units reviewed. Appreciate it. Ahead of time. All right, and then the Dark Thunder Emperor steals 25% of the attack and defense power of the target and makes it his own, um, accumulated up to 10 times. Let's pause for a second. Can we hold our head in prayer here? <laughs> Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. When was your last confession? Uh, well, you know, look, I'm sorry, Father. Apparently, I stole 250% of the attack and the defense, and I can't be stopped. I don't know what to do. Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. <laughs> that's crazy I, like I don't even I don't even like what do you what do you even do with that that's crazy so if you have five knowledge you will also steal all the beneficial effects on the target so built in strip stealing all the power okay so you're basically eliminating pretty much every unit in the game that's supposed to deal damage so and since it says steal I, I wonder if that means like do, do you after you take the effect does that effectively weaken the other target you know what I'm saying? Does that make sense? Because that's, that's busted. I mean, that's really, really busted. That's stupid busted. And, and then the next question is, is does that work on bosses? Does that work on bosses? Like, PvE-wise? Because it doesn't say it doesn't work on bosses. You're just going to steal GB10's attack power? <laughs> You're going to steal DB10? That's stupid. I don't, that's ridiculous. And then if if the enemy does, if they do ha have a reduction, like 25% of their attack power is gone, 25% of their defense is gone, like that's, so what does that mean? Like eventually did they just have no attack and no defense? That doesn't stack, you know? Like that's, it's going to be interesting, guys. I, I don't know how that's going to work, but we're going to have to see. So let's talk about these giant warriors, okay? Because these guys are pretty dope from the looks of it. Uh, skill 1, they reduce 30% of the attack bar. Okay, so built in, basically you can use them anywhere. If you want to plug this into your GB10, DB10, whatever, uh, you can do it. Uh, it's pretty much kind of a wall right there, right out the gate. Hua. Okay, skill 2, uh, spell 2 is mono. I don't know, I have no idea. But uh, spell skill 2 for water is going to be damage increased proportionate to his defense. 
and he reduces the attack bar to zero. If the enemy suffers something, effect, you can't resist it. So, I don't know what this means here. Um, let's just assume that if it suffers no effect... Wait, what? What is it? If it suffer no side effect? I let's look novice man. I have no idea. We're just, we're gonna leave that for <laughs> we're gonna leave that for the update because I, I have no idea. I'm assuming uh, if something there's some kind of criteria that happens here that if you know if that is there then this this can't be resisted, which is cool because that's gonna be pretty OP in guild battle. Uh, so if you guys look for guild battle, it's gonna be pretty dope. And then again, giants can be cool, you know, stuff like that if you want to use them in giants and other stuff like that. Okay, spell three removes all beneficial effect of the target and breaks defense for a three turn timeout. Full strip, three turn defense break. Damage increases proportionally to your defense. You're gonna see this guy a lot, okay? Um, with a full strip, especially being water, um, he counters a lot of stuff. I mean, you're talking a full strip, it's really gonna depend how his stats, uh, his stats are based. But I can promise you guys that you will run into this dude with like 35, 40k HP. Like, you know, in higher, in higher level guild wars and stuff, be prepared to see this guy fast, tanky as hell, and just annoying. So, um, he sounds like he'd be more of a support. I mean, you could potentially build him like a defensive damage style, but because of all of the utility that it sounds like he has, I don't think these people are going to really use him for damage as much as they're going to use him for support. Because you're talking about a full reduction to zero, then in some cases somehow can't be resisted. You got an attack bar reduction on one, so you got more control there. And then you got a full strip and a three turn death break. So if the strip happens before, like if it's a full strip and then the three turn death break applies, it's basically like a trade for a strip for a, uh, a death break, which is really stupid OP, to be honest, guys. Like that's really strong, really, really strong for a three star. Like, stupid strong. Okay, so, next up, uh, fire, skill 2, same as water. Okay, so you got the full thing to zero. Skill 3 is a passive. Uh, when he dies, he resurrects with 30% of your HP and with the attack and defense buff. Okay, so he's Perna. Good. <laughs> More Pernas. <laughs> Just what we needed. <laughs> Alright, wind spell 2, send a rock in the sky. Next turn, the rock falls and inflicts your max HP split into all of the ab <laughs> What? And it apparently ignores defense. L that is so stupid. Listen guys, that is so stupid. I mean, that's so stupid. Let me tell you how stupid that is, okay? I just want you to picture this. Just picture this for a second. Just picture this, okay? So, imagine this guy Slow as hell, okay, because who, who gives a damn about speed, right? Um, let's say you ran, I don't know, or maybe if you didn't run him slow, but you ran him, you know, fast with 40k HP, right? So he flicks, inflicts his max HP split into all opponents, and it, and, and it says apparently ignores defense, right? His next turn. So all you would essentially have to do is he would have to get a turn, throw the rock up in the air, right? And then you just resurge him, and then the rock comes down broken now tell like can somebody out there tell me tell me like what's not broken about that ability don't worry i'm waiting listening listening anybody <laughs> but yeah so it's 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 oh my god that's dumb that's dumb this is a three star listen guys i'm not building four stars and five stars anymore we're just switching to three stars all right that's it <laughs> all right so light Light uh, inflicts damage and stuns everyone. Ally, stuns? Wait. And stun everyone, allies included. Allies. What? Inflict damage and stun everyone, allies included. Allies without being able to resist. Yeah, I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't. I, I don't understand that. I. I'm not even going to speak on that because I don't. I don't even. That sounds stupid. You know what I'm saying? That sounds really stupid. Like, really, really stupid. Um, I'm trying to, like, sort through my mind right now and find a, a, a purpose for that. But I just, I don't, I don't, uh, hmm? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe you guess this is as good as mine. But anyway, uh, so dark is the same as the wind one. Uh, the wind was spelled too with the rock in the sky. Okay, broken. Hashtag broken. But the only difference is his skill three is passive. If you die, you resurrect and play. I'm assuming that means you get a, uh, a turn instantly. Um, 
So, yeah, so imagine this dumbass throws the rock in the air, somebody kills him, he comes back to life, gets a turn, and then the rock comes down. <laughs> I, I can't. I think I'm more excited for the three stars than I am for the damn fire elementals or lightning kings or queens or whatever. Whatever, queens of lightning, kings of lightning. Um, but yeah, guys, honestly, these skills are are pretty broken. I'm really excited to see, again, how these guys play into the meta. Uh, my fault, again, for not paying attention to Reddit. I uh, would have known I could have got these uh, skills out in the last video. That's my negligence. Uh, but, yeah, let me know what you guys think about these skills, though, for real. Because, like, you know, from the ones that we understand. Uh, and, and, again, I'll do another video once the new units actually drop so we can get, you know, the full description and we'll talk about them. Um, three stars, like... I'm hoping this patch drops before uh, No Summit November because no, no Summit November starts on Thursday and then I won't be able to pull anything. <laughs> so again, if it's November 1st and you guys aren't participating and you guys happen to pull these units, listen, let me know guys so I could do some videos on these, especially if you guys are on the six star so I can showcase them and we can like talk about their skills and just have a great time. But anyway, if you guys got any questions, comments, concerns, definitely let your boy know in the box below. With that being said, y'all, we'll see y'all in the next video.